Welcome back to Improvision Entertainment. My name is Hunter Munn, and this is Euro Truck Simulator 2. And so, what we are doing is we are continuing, well, not continuing because we're not in the same truck, but kind of sort of continuing. I keep picking the city we just left in, or landed in, as the starting place for the next mission. So, we're in Malaga. Malaga? And it looks like we're going to be taking six tons of computer processors, which are high value fragile um on an articulated trailer and uh will be an absolutely urgent delivery so we're doing that and we're gonna do our best to drive past at least one or two truck dealerships while we're doing it that may not work out but we're gonna try because we need to purchase a truck in france so that when we leave the truck shop i'm sorry in spain we need when we leave the truck shop or or portugal we will be in Iberia, in the Iberian Peninsula. So, before we begin, let's see if we can route ourselves. Here, like, let, what, like, what's this? That might be it. That might be the truck dealership. We don't want to go too far off the course. Oh, no, that's probably a truck dealership. What's this? That's probably not a truck dealership. That's probably a... That's probably a truck dealership. How much time do we have to make the trip is really the question. Okay, just park me against the wall. That's fine. Let's do okay, I don't think that's a truck dealership over there. But we're about to find out together. Our articulated trailer is what's going to make this the most complex thing to do. Because just going off the trail is one thing, but like going off the trail and keeping your truck straight, completely different. What, what is that place? I'm going to try and drive straight up the road and then be able to back up. I think that's my current plan, because otherwise I'm going to have to go in there and turn around. Okay, we've got 19 hours left in this trip. Recruitment agency. Wait, what? I'm going off the map. What the hell? Can I go this way? Does anybody else hear that ticking noise? That's a problem. I done fucked up. I fucked up live on stream. I don't know how to work these things. This is gonna go bad. You have to do it like, oh shit. Not that, not that, not that. I never should have done this! Where the question marks a truck dealership and also a recruitment agency. Uh, yes, I just passed a recruitment agency. But also, I kind of, I've gotten myself stranded because I don't know how to work these vehicles. I, I don't know how to work these vehicles. Articulated trailer... Okay. I am absolutely screwed. Unless I can go over that wall and go down onto the highway, which it doesn't look like I can. I'm never going to make this turn, which is basically my only option. A 
This is gonna jackknife me, right? Like, this is not gonna work. We're just gonna casually drive into this vehicle. Everything is fine. So how you guys doing out in chat? <laughs> Maybe if I just wiggle it enough, it'll be fine. <laughs> Fucked up so bad. I never should have come this way at all. Should I tow myself? That was stupid. I never should have done... You know what? Actually, wait. Wait. Hold on. When did I last load? I'm not normally one for reloading, but now that I know this is just a recruitment agency... 57, 53, 53, 50... Okay. Let's see where this takes me. <laughs> I regret that so much. I knew I shouldn't have gone down that route without knowing what was around the other turn. I probably... Uh, this probably auto-saved while I was doing it. Okay. A little earlier than that. I know this is the content you all come for, <laughs> but you know what? You got to see me be a goofball, so. Oh, this is before I took the job. Well, that's mildly inconvenient. But I got the job again. Okay, same job as before, except for the part where... Except for the part... Go away, bug! Why are there bugs? I don't understand. Okay, so now I know that's a recruitment agency, I can ignore that. But you see, this one over here has a roundabout. Depending on where its entrance is... You know what? I'm gonna. S so, uh, so, Hicks, did you look on the map and you confirmed that the other one is a truck dealership? If it is, and you, if you did do that, and it is, could you tell me, um, what what truck dealership it is? feel totally silly, but that's, that was a couple minutes of just getting stuck. I don't know if you and Alex are still out there. You, you both got kind of quiet. You're just admiring me wrecking. Could have, could have, could have, could have seen that everything was fine, though. Turn I mean, everything was fine. You only get one of each in every town? I have never noticed. Is there literally one of each in every town? Is that a thing? I mean, I've noticed that, you know, major cities have um, recruitment or um, have generally both. I'm going to need all you guys to be moving, especially these cops. Exit now. Do 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 do. Hopefully that one's at the roundabout. 
looking at the map, it may not be. So yeah, if uh, if you can see that that is definitely a truck location, do you know what type, of, what dealership it is, uh, Hicks? Before I go after it, because I'm looking for something that's not one of the three companies I've already done. Right. Uh, Scania, Mercedes-Benz, and Evaco, I think is the name of the one. Alrighty then, here we go. Now before I hit the next major interchange, I think I'll save. Because I am trying to goof the game a little bit, right? I am trying to make it so that I can get my next truck here in this country. But the thing is, you can't just go into free drive and drive around and figure out where you want to pick up your next truck. You have to do it while you're traveling around. So... While I'm on this urgent delivery, as I approach this uh, intersection, I'm going to lay down a hard save. And uh, from that hard save, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, so let's say right here. So let's say right here I'm going to put down a save, just in case. just in case I get stuck, just in case I can't easily get off of this highway. I like living with my mistakes, but also at the same time I am trying to do a, you know, a little bit of achievement hunting thing, so you gotta have that occasional cheddar. It's the one truck dealership, so there you should only have two question marks in every town. I did not know that. Alright, this is gonna be literally a, a waste of time if this doesn't work. If I enter the roundabout and uh, I do not tag whatever the question mark is from uh, being next to it, then I will have to travel up to it and then come back down around, which I can do. This is all a matter of, like, quote-unquote wasting time, though. And it's probably not calculated in how much gasoline my employer gave me, so I may have to stop for gas at some point after I do this. Oh, shit. Right, and then exit right. This is very confusing the way this is looping in on itself and such. Exit right. I could not read. take the first exit. So this is the part where it trapes over exit itself. Now. At the take the second exit. The roundabout take the second exit. So not that one. Exit now. Exit now. Okay, so, here's a roundabout, I go up to here, take the first exit. I pull on out. Alright, we're going to see if I drive up on this building if it tags it. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go out the roundabout. Pro, pro cop, nope. Oh wait, not this one yet. It's the next one.
did that pretty well, actually. Well, there's a warehouse over here, so... Whoops. Gonna travel all the way up this road and then back. This is an urgent delivery, mind you. I am I am doing an urgent delivery. Am I close enough to tag this building? At the no. So I'm gonna have to literally go up in here. Oh man, they're gonna make me drive up into the driveway. This isn't even gonna be uh, uh, in a location I need, is it? Oh, it's Volvo. Well, I don't have a Volvo yet. Thank you, this is an important delivery. Making a U-turn. In a second. Gotta pick up this Volvo agency. Volvo truck discovered. Okay. So I still have 18 hours left to make a 6 hour trip. So that should be enough. We were doing that for the future. After this trip is done, provided it is done on time, I should have enough money to be able to pick up my next truck. And I will pick it up here as a Volvo. So you will see this exit at some point in the future because I will be leaving Bump. Bump. Well, that's unfortunate and annoying. I can't work articulated trailers! This is a whole problem of mine! Alright, we're gonna try and pull this. We're doing a whole thing now. I'm making things hilarious. Hilariously bad. Okay. That should be able to be straightened up enough. That if I go out this away, I should be able to pull the trailer straight and hopefully not hit anything? Okay, I kind of hit something. And we're good. Everything is good. That's where we will get our new Volvo truck in a little while. Back to the highway with plenty of time, but probably not plenty of gas to spare. Why didn't you make your turn, Jagoff? I was behind you! Either we travel all the way back out. I will need to actually be in that lane, though. Legally speaking. At the roundabout, take the second Let's see, that guy pulls out. Then that guy, then I pull out. Exit now. So many roundabouts. Everybody's gotten quiet. These things happen. Um.
I can't believe some of my favorite YouTubers have been each doing what they're doing on YouTube for like 10 years now. Both The Completionist and Game Theory apparently have been doing their videos for about 10 years now. That's crazy. Of course, that's still not The Young Turks, which I think is like at 18. Something like that. I just I was trying to read the mini map like where does this want me to go? Okay, exiting now. Alright, we are getting back on the damn road. Slight detour, planning for the future. We will be getting ourselves a Volvo truck for a little over 200,000 euros. Once we've kitted it out. Which we will then begin doing World of Truck jobs that are at least 200 kilometers long in Iberian P Peninsula um, for personal progress towards trying to unlock a thing that we have limited time to unlock because it's tied to the release of the game. So it's it's like a personal achievement on the thing. It's like a it's like a, a bragging right situation. It's a whole thing. We're going to go for it. Also, it'll keep us around in Spain and Portugal. Let's apparently have like 47 cities to tack. Keep right and then exit right. Keeping right to exit right. Oh, that said 80. That didn't say, like, 50 like I was expecting. Well, that says 60. Oh, look! Graffiti! I can't see! Hicks says, I'm going to bounce, mate. Try the new DLC, but I'll drop back if that's okay. Absolutely! It's been good having you. Um, feel free to just leave me running in lurk for the, uh, for the average count, and then you can unlurk when you get back, uh, if you are just gonna chill out, play the game, and then return. Uh, whenever I see you again, it'll be great having you. See you in the future. Now I gotta talk to myself, because I think Alex is probably, like, playing Hades or something right now. Probably has the game on, but, like, isn't looking at it. It happens, and that's fine. The problem with me being chill background noise is I gotta figure out how to talk to myself, though. And what to talk about. I kinda ran through most of what I liked about that anime last night, and, uh... It was only six episodes, right? I believe it's it goes to 20. It's in Japanese. I am... I am thinking about putting on the rest of it in Japanese, but... Because I have that can, that situation where I read slow... It, it makes subtitles an absolute bitch, and I, I can't imagine what it'd be like in that, in that series, because you perfectly... Hey! Eorzebeth leveled up! I didn't see what, if she, how much money she just got me, if any. I mean, I, she, she must have been successful, so she must have gotten me money. But, um... In the series, a whole bunch of times... When characters are leveling up, there's this little, like, um, computerized voice that's talking to them, telling them about their, um, skill ups and stuff like that. And, um, it happens a lot with the main character who's going through all these, like, weird sp spider abilities and, and, and special, like, uh, probably you may or may not want to have these skills, but you're a monster type things. And, um, there's a lot of her talking her thoughts out 
while that voice is saying its lines. So they're very, very, very frequently talking over each other. Because, you know, she's doing like a video game player where she's kind of like talking over the tutorial a little bit. Not exactly that, but like she's, she's talking and talking and the computer's trying to say stuff. And it's purposely made so that you can't quite um, follow all the time what the computer's saying. And even once or twice, she was like, oh no, what did that just say? I wasn't paying attention. Wait, repeat. How do you repeat? You know? And that's in character and fine, but I don't know what nonsense that would look like subtitled. That you just subtitle the main character and, and just plaster the text on screen. Um, like, or do you try and subtitle both the talking? Like, how does that work when you've got two characters talking over each other? And how is somebody like myself, who already has trouble reading subtitles at regular speed, supposed to follow whatever that's supposed to look like? Real questions. Real questions. I just realized that because I took an urgent mission, I can't just sleep the night away and cause it to be morning so that we can see more of the country. But you know what else I also just realized after I realized that? Is that because I'll be picking up a truck from that Volvo dealership there... And then exit right. Keep right, exit right? Okay. Um, kind of like how I talk over the, uh, the... The voice assistant sometimes like, Oh wait, what direction did she say me to go? Exactly like that. That's what she does in the anime. Perfect. Actual video game player. Very good. Um, but, uh... Is that... When I start from the uh, Volvo truck factory, uh, I'll be in that same area of town we basically just didn't get a good look at because it's dark. So you'll get to see all this road, but you'll get to see it lit up. We're going to see a lot of Spain, is what I'm saying. A lot of Spain and Portugal. Because of that event that's going on right now that you can see on the pause screen. As a reminder to anybody who might be wondering, as we approach the 30 minute mark of this uh, recording, why is, the, you know, why is the video not coming to a conclusion to be continued later? It's because, by the time you're watching this later on YouTube, I have stopped chopping these things up because they made me put in so much more hours of work. Hours of work that, in a wibbly wommy timey wimey sense, is still ahead of me in the present day that I'm still going to have to work at for a while until those videos get up to the point where I said last night that I gave up on doing it, which I haven't actually gotten to the point where I've done it so much that it's going to be... It's a whole thing. I'm in the past, I'm in the present. Depends on if you're watching me live, or if you're watching later on the VOD, or if you're watching even later on YouTube in 2032. It just depends. Hmm. It's an interesting blue and brown tanker. Yes, I am sadly traveling with my high beams on. And that would be very rude to do in real life, but... Um, the AI is very rude to me, and, uh, I count them all under the same umbrella of rudeness. So, uh, we'll just, we'll just call it even on that one. They don't give me a fine for doing it, so that's really what's important. Damn, I do want to watch, but I want to watch, but that's the thing. I do want to watch more of the series. Ba 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 bail Balin? B A weirdly topped I L E N. Balin? Is Balin the next city? I think it was 20. I'm going to have to reread it. Uh, 20 deliveries begun or ended in uh, Iberia. I don't think. I don't think they had to be unique. I don't think they had to always be newer different cities every time. Oh no, is that the beginning of a yawn? Oh, we might have issues. As I said at some point previously. Oh no. At some point previously, I very much did not get a full night's sleep. And it wasn't because I was watching the anime. I didn't get a full night's sleep because I didn't get a full night's sleep. And because I had insomnia and I could not sleep, I watched the anime. But it wasn't because of the anime that I didn't get any sleep. 
And that's not how that works. When you're growing up with insomnia and you can't figure out why you go to where you're forced to go to bed at 9 p.m., but you don't fall asleep until after 2 a.m., laying in bed bored out of your frickin' mind for hours. Um, I've said a couple of times on stream, though, as related to my sleeping conditions, that if you've ever watched the movie Fight Club, what goes wrong with that character at the start of the movie is that they have insomnia to the point where they're like, can you die from it because it becomes so painful? I've been there, so I understand that question. That, that is, like, a real situation. Does this feel like 90 kilometers an hour to you? Because this doesesn't feel like 90. This feels kind of slow. If I'm being real. Uh, Madrid. Another cop car. If I drift slowly into that lane ever so slightly, then I can freak that guy out so that he slows down and lets me over. I'm not exploiting the artificial intelligence. I don't know what you're talking about. It's crazy talk. Madness. What are you saying? Santa Elena? I need a Santa Elisa. I don't remember what Santa stands for. What Santa means, though. Santa Elena. Hmm. Hmm. Unfortunately, it's going to get to uh, morning in a few little moments, and um, I'm in character, I'm going to have to go to sleep, and then we're going to sleep through most of the day. But is that That's what you do on urgent delivery. Well, then again, hold on. Three hours, one minute. Give me a second to get out of this curve. Let me check and see what my situation currently is. Three hours, one minute. Six hours, 13 minutes. Oh, never mind. So, it will be getting to dawn uh, when this mission ends, and uh, we will be at our destination. So, actually, we may not see the sun at all. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, question of the recording. If you're watching live, or if you're watching later, or later on YouTube... Uh, feel free to answer this either in the chat or the comments, whichever is most appropriate. Would you like to see me play uh, any racing or sports games? A little redundant because I know that racing is a sport, but like I've I I almost played Blitz the League two on last Super Bowl Sunday, and instead we did Among Us, which was even better, <laughs> honestly. But um. But I'd also be interested in, like, maybe playing a season of a new NHL game or NHL Hits Pro. Going back a couple of ages on that one. Um, but then again, I'd like to play Top Gear Rally 2 with somebody. Maybe Parsec, that would be pretty cool if we could 4K Parsec that. Um, but then... Um, like, Forza Horizon... Any of them. Forza Horizon 1 through 4. Burnout Paradise. Burnout Paradise looks beautiful in, in 4K. 4K 60. Not that Twitch would be able to see it in 4K, but you would be able to see it in 60, and YouTube would be able to see it later in, in 4K. Why did that say I was speeding for half a second? Was there a cop near me in the tunnel? Was I suddenly Edward Freeman? Alright. I like the red dots on the side of the things that let me kind of make out my fucking nighttime from third person. We are listed as being 165 kilometers away, which if I know my math, and I'm not saying I do, but I believe that's roughly 100 miles remain. For of you people who are unfortunately like myself stuck in America with our goofy measuring system. Madrid and what? Cielo Real? 
Wait, what? What is that called? Now it's over there. No, Clue Dad and Restat? Anyway, she said keep left, so I'm keeping left. And saving in the top left corner. That guy certainly uh, entered the highway very quickly. Keep left. <clears throat> or... And I've asked this a bunch of times, but how about city skylines? I know a lot of people like Stellaris, but Stellaris is a long game. I, I value, first of all, that we are playing Stellaris this month, and depending on when the the expansion pack comes out, I'll do a midnight run. Um, if, if it does, in fact, launch at midnight or whatever time period it comes out, we will do that. Just like we did today with Iberia, where I played this, where I literally downloaded it while stream was active and started playing. We will do that. Uh, whatever that equivalent is for um, the new DLC for Stellaris. And though these probably don't cross-pollinate, there's a couple of playthroughs on Stellaris which all got started on on stream and put up on YouTube, and then pretty much everybody who was involved um, got too busy to finish. I don't know if I have the time to finish my one playthrough by myself, which I would definitely consider doing. Um, but I don't really have the time. Well, I could do it next Tuesday or Thursday, I guess. I don't know when the next big patch comes out. Probably the day of the expansion pack, or one or two days before. Probably the day of. Probably the day of the expansion pack. Because it's going to add... A whole new element of spy stuff to the game, and it's going to be awesome. Where you're going to, like, make first contact, and you're not going to know everything about it. And I will say, I think what I was going to say before, about if I play it on stream, I'm going to purposely bump the dates up for when the mid and late game crisis happen. Because I think the game deserves to, on stream, attempt to be a little shorter than how I play it. Yorzabeth came back with 2,000 money. Good for her, because she was really worrying me at when we started. I'm going to check. I'm going to check, hopefully, after this recording. You know, we'll do a bunch of um, uh, housekeeping uh, between recordings. After I finish this mission, we'll see about picking up the new truck. And we'll see about... Um, We'll see about picking up the new truck, and we'll see about how everybody stands with, like, what levels they're getting and stuff. Speaking of which, almost $4,000 from Sophia. I wish you could press a button and just make that information repeat. That's a, that's a simple UI mod I would, I would make go into the settings for it and make it so that it it repeats like the last one to five messages based on a, an amount you pick or whether you can just press a singular button to make it repeat only the last one I could not read those street signs this is like an American style highway system Madrid discovered nice What's happening up ahead? What's going on? Is that a highway loop? Of course I got over and now I gotta get back. Keep left. Wait, keep left? Oh. I uh, take my right over here. Now I'm getting right. Oh. oh, you little shits! They blocked my exit! Okay, wait, I can go this way. Well, okay. I don't know how I didn't get 
speeding ticket by that cop, but... That is a serious slowdown. I'm gonna come over here. We're gonna hit the round of boot. This trip just became a little longer right at the end. Nobody's coming in from the left, so I keep going into the roundabout. Is that a pull? I thought I was going to hit it for sure. Turn left. Well that wasn't so bad. I'm getting a little bit better about looking at my map and picking my new route. Hey, blue circle, red cross. Do not stop. Nobody's here, so I am not stopping. Keep right, and then exit right. Keeping right, exiting right. Still see those cops over there. Right. Don't know why this particular highway connection needs to be so slow. Villa, oh man. Those street signs are not properly lit at night. Oh, good. Yawns. Perfect. Beautiful. Wonderful. Looks like a big roundabout under the uh, overpass. No, 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 don't pull out. No, don't pull out. I'm not supposed to go double stack, dude. Go straight on. How many tons of this? Medical? I think it was medical supplies? Speed up. Hold on, we gotta go third exit, so I need to get over into this lane. Because I understand the power of a roundabout and how it function. How it functions. Excluding that um, hilarious uh, event that didn't happen, um, canonically speaking, with the uh, agency, I had a pretty good run with this articulated trailer. But the real question is, where do they want me to park?
you should go. Honk, baby. Honk. I'm a goose. Honk. Honk is the new orb. Exit. Right. Get ready to turn left. Turn oh, get ready to turn left. Got to make those big wide sweeping turns. Now, okay, you just want where should I park it, and you want me to park it there. That's fine. That's fine. I'm okay with this. Oh, oh, wait, it's up there. That's actually not where I thought it was at all. First try. Not that it was that hard. Show results now! Hey, lots of skill ups happening. And ding. Alright. Choices are ADR3, ADR4. Let's go with it. New poll. Upgrade. Oh, and for anybody who is watching later on YouTube, I thank you for watching. This has been Euro Truck Simulator 2, presented by Improvision Entertainment. My name is Hunter Munn, and I will see you in the future. Later.